everybody. Welcome into the news. Nailed Parts it. counter guru, you did, man. Nailed that was it. awesome. You were on it, man. I love it. You were getting so good with this news. Uh... I love it, man. It, it, uh, it's, it's, uh, it, I get excited when I hear that, man. Boy, do we have a lot to talk about in the news this week. Um, I'm going to apologize in, in advance, Jay. Um, if I get a little irritable. Why is that? I, I might be going through menopause. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Menopause. It's a it's a real issue. So um, uh, yeah. you found this and sent it to me. It's hilarious. Uh, I did. These guys are at what is it? Man, is it manopause? Manopause dot it's, 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 it's manopause dot com. Here, I'll pull it up real quick. It's uh, m a n o p a u s e dot com. And um, for those of you uh, who were you know Seinfeld fans. Um, you remember Jay Peter? It's Jay Peterman, right? Did it? So I, you know, I've actually love met him. Oh, he, and he's I we were at a celebrity golf accent. tournament, and nobody knew his real name. Like his name's like John, and everybody was like, "Hey, Mr. Peterman," because we all looked at each other and we were like, "What's his <laughs> What's his actual name?" Like we all just knew him as Mr. Peterman from Seinfeld, right? Elaine's right. boss, right? Yeah, Elaine's boss, man. He was the guy that was down in the caves, you know, and. Yeah. Um, put put Elaine in charge of the catalog and all this kind of stuff. And remember the hat? Yes. She had to, yeah. And George ended up wearing a hat, wore it in the rain, and it wasn't, ended up not being. Uh, sci- uh, was it Kramer had to replace the hat? And it was. Yeah. So. <laughs> it was funny, man. So this. John, no, no, yes. Mr. Peterman is his Mr. probably Peterman. most famous role. Does yeah. an intro on manipulse.com. Watch the video. Just just go you, watch you it. You have man. to it's hilarious. go watch it. It's hilarious. And I can tell you guys, um, I didn't know it existed. Um, but it I, I know any man in their middle age. It explains a lot, man. It explains a lot. And I'm telling you, if anywhere <laughs> between the age of forty five and say seventy, you get it. I'm telling you, and I am right in the middle of all that. So, all right, just saying. So, let me uh, quick public service announcement here before we get rolling on the on the uh, on the. What are we doing today? We're doing the news. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, quick public service amount announcement before we get going on the news here. Um, in the middle of the COVID nineteen, uh, everybody's kind of shuttered at home. We're all working from home. Jay and I are actually working on a video to help you guys that are new to working at home. Because mm-hmm. we we've, we've been doing it for a while, we're seasoned veterans. But seasoned. I want to give a little bit of uh, self promotion here. If you are looking for help with live streaming in your organization or pre recorded streaming, mm-hmm. um, hit us up. Give us a give us a shout out. You can hit us up in the comments on this video or go to our website at partscounterguru.com. There's an ask us a question tab. Yep, yep. You can send us a message there. We are for hire, and you are welcome to reach out to us, and we will show you how we do it. And if you want to see proof that we do it, just go check out our YouTube feed and there's live videos in there and there's all kinds of pre-recorded stuff. It is not as easy as you might think, but if you need to reach an audience, we can help you with that. So, uh, I digress. Thanks everybody for, for entertaining our, my, my little commercial there. We are Um, for hire. There you, you go. So, there you go. So, so Jay, what are we gonna what are we gonna uh, talk well, about? Well, we first just here? we we just kind of felt like that. Um, you know, we needed to spend a little time on our industry of the automotive world, engine industry, engine rebuilding industry, um, uh, in regards to the effects of what this coronavirus uh, or COVID nineteen um, has had on our industry, and also throughout us, you know giving you guys some of this information some of you have probably heard some of these stories but we'll, we'll hit on it and we'll kind of get into a little detail on what you know why it's important to understand what's going on but this is the american spirit at its best in my opinion where um we are uh, as as businesses as leaders and in industries get together and combine efforts to kind of uh defeat the, the defeat this 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 virus this disease that's going on right now so we'll get into some of those stories in a minute but one of the casualties um, that we have endured over the last several weeks was all of the cancellation of the sport sports. I mean, I'm heartbroken. Uh, hockey. I'm, I'm a huge hockey fan. Uh, I really, uh, you know, I'm a, you guys know 
Keith's a, a Blues fan. I'm a Preds fan. We both are contenders. Um, it's delayed. We don't know if the season will come back. We have no idea. Baseball, they stopped spring training, um, which is unfortunate. Um, you know, even NASCAR. Still uh, you know, charge race. me for the uh, yearly <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. season yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, MLB streaming package, though. It's funny right. how that works, right? Like, right. Well, yeah. I, I, isn't it funny how the NFL was able to pull that, uh, yeah. pull that Super Bowl off before we started squashing all the sports? But sadly enough, if, if they're, you know, we're, we had a little bit of hope, man, that maybe this summer that we were gonna gonna watch um, our fine young U.S. athletes compete in um, over in Tokyo. Now this was and the a, summer Olympics, the summer right? Olympics, yeah. yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, um, in a joint statement from the International uh, Olympic Committee and the Tokyo 2020 uh, Organizing Committee, they've uh, basically they've they've kind of postponed it. If you will, it, it is canceled, but postponed. I think they're going to try to maybe get it in in 2021. So a year, a year. So a, no Olympics for a year. Right. That's yeah, yeah. It's um, it's pretty uh, it's it's pretty unprecedented, really. Um, and you know, basically, um, here I'll just read read you verbatim. Uh, what they go into here. Uh, in the present circumstances and based on the information provided by the uh, World Health Organization, uh, the IOC the president, the world, yeah, the who, yeah. Not the who, but who. Who? Um, who, yeah, who. World, world Health Organization. Who, right. The who? Uh, <laughs> yeah. And the... Uh, All right. And the uh, International uh, Olympic Committee, or IOC president, and the Prime Minister of Japan have concluded that the Games uh, uh, in Tokyo must be rescheduled to a date beyond 2020, but not later than summer 2021, um, in order to safeguard the health of the athletes and everybody involved in the Olympic Games and the international community. That's a big deal, guys. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't think... You know, we already are realizing the the financial impacts that this is already having just on the U.S. This is a global financial problem right now, and I cannot fathom the amount of dollars and revenue that are going to be oh, lost because of uh, of not having these events. Um, you know, I said that the other day when when now we're starting to come into these statewide. Or uh, you know statewide shutdowns where the governors are ordering us to stay home for two weeks, um, and I think that you know now we've got what is it like eight states, ten states that are involved in that at the moment. Every every day, yeah. Now, so it's starting on the <clears throat> the city government levels, correct. And then you know the trend has been that the city governors of like I, I'm in Tennessee, two or three of the city, uh, larger city governors will, or, sorry, governors, uh, where were mayors of mayors, cities, yeah. Right. Uh, you were just going to let me go with that, huh? Just going to let me just... Okay. I was going to let you... Uh, <laughs> you're, you're really good at catching yourself, man, so... Uh, I, anyway, I'm the one that needs the help, man. Yeah, so. yeah. The, the, well, that's because you're menopause, but... Um, <laughs> yeah. Right, I digress. Are we going to keep this right. together, man? Are we just going to be... It's, I, I, okay. I don't know, uh, man. We're trying, dude. <laughs> um, so the, the local mayors of, of some of the larger cities in the states, like here in Tennessee, mm -hmm. have, have, have issued those orders, and then the governors have followed suit. Right. Uh, it's, that it's usually it's the right that's the way it's do. been going. So it's the right thing to do. And I will mention if you, I don't know how you wouldn't know this, but a lot of what else we have to talk about today is going to be around the automotive industry. So, it, if you did not know, too. right? Well, yeah, it was trying to start with something a little bit lighter, but yeah. um, the the major auto manufacturers here in the United States have suspended production. Mm -hmm. That if you didn't know that I'm you've been under a rock I guess for the past week yeah. but that is a that's going on that's a thing they are not making cars and trucks right now right um, so yeah but the and, but but I what I do know is that the production of of auto parts engine parts um, they are going to try to keep those plants well, rolling it's funny that necessary. you should mention that because uh, I feel like we just did a podcast on that uh, on the did. whole supply chain thing and I'm we not did. sure which one of these are going to be out first but uh, probably that so yeah. go look for that if you want to know more about 
if you're going to be able to get your car fixed if it breaks down on you during this uh, during this time. That that is right. a a legitimate issue right now. I'll tell you that much. So let me give you a little bit of a you know more of a human touch to this okay. particular right. story please, because please, I yes. think it's I think or, it's important to understand that that everybody um, everybody's in this together. Um, just another statement from this article, and, and then we'll move on to, to other stuff. But the leaders agreed, and this is from from mm-hmm. the from the um, the article. The leaders agreed that the Olympic Games in Tokyo could start, excuse me, could stand as a beacon of hope to the world during these troubled times, and that the Olympic flame could become the light at the end of the tunnel in which the world finds itself at present. Well, um, it's you know, therefore it was agreed that the Olympic flame will stay lit. Oh. Uh, and it will stay in Japan. And it was also agreed that the games will keep the name Olympic and Paralympic Games Tokyo 2020. Yeah, so that's, there you go. That's I think that's the right move. I think yeah. it's the right move, and I think it's fair. It, it's fair to everybody involved, and it and it and again, it it gives us it gives us something to to kind of hold on to, man. It's a little ray of hope. A little ray of hope, man. We need hope. So, um, I've got some questions here. Um, you, I have read some articles. You found quite a few articles on a, a whole, another hopeful situation where these automotive manufacturers are trying to manufacture medical supplies. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Now, most of what I've read, and I have not. So, so the articles that you put in our in our um, collaboration tool here, mm-hmm. a lot of these are are different than what I've read. So, you and I have separately read different things. But yeah. what I've been reading is that it's going to take them a while to spin up. You can't retool a factory like a, like an automotive assembly plant in a mm-hmm. week. How, how are they going? Are they are we months away from being able to produce medical supplies by Ford and GM and Tesla? Or are we weeks away? Uh, Elon I, I, Musk's tweeted it's like he's going to have stuff ready in a week. So yeah, I, I think we're I think we're weeks away just based on on some of the statements that have been made. Because what you have is a collaborative effort. It's not just the auto plants that are halting automotive production to, to do this, but they are they are also working with um, you know 3M, GE Healthcare, and the United Auto Workers in combination. Ford, GM, all these guys. Um, so there's a lot of smart people that are sitting around these tables collaborating on how they can achieve it very quickly. I had read that they're looking. It's it's just a matter of weeks to be able to to start producing these things in a manner to where we can we can hopefully uh, start seeing. Um, it, it, and I think they're trying to do this um, uh, in unison with the National Guard is out and they're building. You know, they're putting up these field hospitals. Um, they're adding beds. Uh, you also have the the uh, um, the Red Cross and the Navy. All of these medical ships that are going into ports now. My understanding on those, by the way, are for recovering. Okay. Um, yeah. People. Well. Um, and people you know, that have had that are correct, that are uh, and they, they move them COVID nineteen right. test positive and they're that's yeah, right. Okay. And they're they're moving them out of the the population of the of the severely ill because the severely ill need to be right there. Um, in the center of, of, of where it's all happening. Okay, so. now, and man, you've, you, you've got my attention here in so many different directions because uh, you've got another article that's uh, written from a medical professional on the front lines. But before we get to that, mm-hmm. um, you found this article. Uh, this is Jalopnik. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ford's quickly designed power air purifying respirators are a clever reuse of F-150 and hand tool parts. So they're taking right. what they've already produced mm-hmm. yeah. and they're repurposing that. That's now, exactly right. Doesn't the Tesla Model X have a bio attack mode filtration system that he inter- yeah. that he when he re- yes. you know did his like uh, what do you call those? His premiere of the car. His uh, what? Help me out here. Steve Jobs used to do these all the time. His uh, Unveiling, yeah, yeah. And he, and presentation, he, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, and he the reveals and he, or whatever. Yeah. And he talked about this, and people laughed, mm-hmm. and he said it's a real thing. Mm-hmm. So they've already got some of the technology too. Technology is there, and, and let me piggyback on that. And there was a mention of it's almost like we're like the Apollo thirteen situation. You know, those guys. Ah, uh, you're talking about to to those of you at watching and listening that don't know where Jay's going with this. And I don't mean to step on this. No, no, no. 
let run me, with it. Yeah. Let me. So stuff broke in their air purification systems while they were in space, <laughs> and they had yeah. to get crafty with repurposing things. You you were about to tell everybody what they did, yeah. right? Well, I don't know exact steps, but let me tell you, there was a lot of duct tape involved. Um, so, but they had to think. I mean, these guys. This was a life or death situation. Well, you literally they, had rocket scientists trying to figure trying out to figure <laughs> ways out to take how, parts in right a spaceship and make them right. air filtration parts. So they were they were they were using pieces from systems that okay, we this is non critical for survival. We can shut this system down and then we can use part it, it out. It, yeah, it part it out, and we're gonna make this. Didn't air, they use like worked. a sock, like a tube sock on the end of something? Dude, or? They they <laughs> they used everything in front of them, and like I said, duct tape. You know, so so this got, is where we're yeah. at. Yeah, we've got Ford and and all these people that are getting well, together with that same mentality. Hey Jay, yeah, what's NASA doing right now? Where That's are all these rocket point. scientists? That's a good question, man. That's a good question. Where is NASA? Did, have you found anything on that? No, not at all. It's strangely, oddly centric. quiet. Wow, you heard it here first on air. We're 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 bringing up good, valid questions. Where is NASA at? I bet you though that they're they're behind the scenes uh, working well, on I'd, things, man. Okay, I'm, maybe I'll reach out to them from our new Twitter account. See if yeah, they. Yeah. Uh, hey, at NASA. You know yeah. what are you doing? Okay, but yeah, so. Um, yeah, some of the some of the uh, let's see here what and these Jalopniks, by the way they're they're industry uh, yeah it's an automotive uh, automotive industry guys as yeah. well um, Ford's media arm sent out a press release detailing the efforts to design and build uh, what they call a powered air purifying respirator or a PAPR um, it's a joint venture again like I said previously between Ford 3M GE Healthcare and the UAW um, the job of a powered air purifying respirator is to draw outside possible virus contaminating air into a filtration system before making it available for the person wearing it to breathe. Unlike passive filters like masks, which rely on the wearer's lungs to draw the air through a filter mesh, these powered respirators can enclose a person's entire head in a hood and flood the hood with filtered air. This is so important, man. This is so important, man. Okay, so you you so there were some things that you mentioned in this um, in this article and what's going on here that tie into uh, here it is uh, this this made me think of this emergency room physician uh, article that you found so this is really interesting uh, this is from the Columbus Dispatch mm-hmm. this is an article written by uh, is he a doctor yeah. And he's um, working in the ER as part of the COVID pod. Right. And this is, I mean, this is the, kind of the uh, as sad as it gets, but it, it's important for, for people to know kind of how bad this is. And he's talking, mm-hmm. there's physicians that they, they ran out of uh, mm-hmm. filtration supplies and, and they just right. continue to treat patients until they basically died, until the physician died right. from exposure. You know, I you know I'm guilty as the rest of us thinking that this thing is not you know I've I've seen it out there people claiming that oh, it just can't be bad as the flu. There's more people that buy you know die of the flu. You don't understand people, okay? Here's but, the deal, okay? We don't know what this is. We don't we don't have a cure for it. We don't have a vaccine for it. We don't know how it acts. It's mutating, and with the more mutation, we learn, the scareder I get. Exactly. <laughs> I and know it's not a word, but so right. <laughs> So the purpose of the shutdowns and, and the stay-at-home stuff, I know you keep you're probably tired of hearing about the flat and the curve. What that does is it buys us time, and it eases the strain on the medical community in order to be able to help these patients. And now not all are severe, and the symptoms are varying. But now we are finding out that diarrhea is associated with some of these patients now. And I have heard some of the horror stories about the severe versions of these cases. And I can tell you folks that I hope that nobody has the severeness that this thing is capable of giving you. So let's 
let's put a link to this article on our website. Do you do we? This is a news segment, but I guess we can just do it on the mentioned yeah. on the podcast page. Mentioned under the on news. the podcast page. Yeah, go read it. Go this read will it, people. this will refocus you on the severity and the seriousness that Jay is talking about. If you just read this article from this phys- physician's mm-hmm. perspective, mm-hmm. it's gonna. Ha- Hammer home what Jay's talking about in terms of you need to take it seriously, and he, here is why. And the yeah. and the scariest part about this is these medical professionals that are running out of supplies PPE. that yeah. keep them Personal protected. Yeah. yeah. And what did you say? PPE. 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 Yeah. And yeah. and so it is a really cool thing to see the automotive manufacturers stepping up to try and and help that. Uh, Respirators are key in in the success and survival rate of people um, because that you have to intubate it, it, it attacks the lungs, guys. Yeah, and it's almost like you're a drowning patient, a drowning patient. You can't breathe. Say. Yeah, right. You right. can't breathe, and this is the only remedy that we have to sustain, help sustain your life to get you through the virus. Okay, just imagine this: the flu, and we all know we we've all caught the flu at some point in our lives. I had it last year, and I, I've never been so sick in my... I, I don't ever recall feeling that bad. But my understanding is if you have the severe version, if you are susceptible, if you are someone with underlying conditions, that this is like the flu on steroids, man. I don't know how else to put that. It's very serious. It's but, nasty. But what's weird is, is there are people out there walking around that are basically asymptomatic. They don't even know they have it. And they may never have a sniffly nose, nothing, but they can carry it and pass it on to someone who is very susceptible to it uh, with underlying health issues such as you know, diabetes, pulmonary conditions, uh, asthma. Um, so it's very important that we all do our part and stay away, stay home. All right. This, you know? this gets pretty intense at times when you, you, you start thinking about the gravity of this thing and how serious mm. it is. Yes. I can only take that in small amounts before it just becomes overwhelming. So let's mm. let's lighten the mood a little bit. You mentioned diarrhea. It. There's no better yep. thing to lighten the mood than little diarrhea discussion. A little diarrhea discussion. That's right. So, Jay, <laughs> uh, wait, actually, oops. Um, I have a secret. You know, there's a shortage of toilet paper right now. There is a shortage of TP. Okay, people are freaking the freak out. Yeah, I don't yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why we need to hoard uh, toilet paper. I don't understand paper. toilet paper either, man. I get it. But... Folks, right here, this is what we, I mean, solving the world's problems one at a time. Another pro tip, okay? Don't go on Amazon and try to find toilet paper, okay? We have we have what you need. We're going to put a link to this in the mentioned on the podcast page. Go to partscounterguru.com. That's it. Look for the mentioned on the podcast tab. We'll put it's, It'll be the news segment with, with the date that it comes out. Yep. I have been a fan of these for a while. Jay discovered them a few months back, and he, tw- I think he like texted over to me, and you were like, "Is this a real thing?" And I'm like, "Oh, dude, I got them in my, you yeah, know, I got them yeah. right now." Yeah, they are called dude wipes. Okay? I love it, man. Now that's look, awesome. This is this is real. This is a real product. It's, yep. it's they've been around for a while. They are individually wrapped. Here, I'm gonna see if I can. Here we go individually yep. wrapped so like i take them in my camping gear and throw them in my backpacks and stuff sure. and go yeah. hiking yep uh they're a hundred percent biodegradable and flushable mm-hmm. we'll, we will put a link to where you can get these right now like mm-hmm. go again go to our mentioned on the podcast page and we'll we'll show you where you can get them we might throw it in the comments too on youtube of this video sure but let all the suckers keep chasing down the toilet paper and you just sidestep that whole thing do yourself and and, and, and and make your bum feel fresh. And and ladies, look, I, I know it says dude wipes on the package. They have some other products. Um no shame. Yeah. And these are trying times, yeah. man. Sometimes you gotta it's strong enough for a man. Yeah. Made for a woman. No, that's somebody else. Sorry. No. Oh, oh yeah. But dude wipes. There you go. You're welcome, internet. Yeah, right on. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point man i mean we uh, again here we are we're not we don't intentionally do this i guess but I, as a byproduct we just we can't help it yeah we can't help it we, <laughs> we solve the world's problems and um you know this, it's an alternative you know guys we have to think outside of the box because you're stuck in one now for a long time <laughs> with all these uh stay-at-home orders get creative people um 
do your part and uh, stay at home and stay healthy and keep everybody else healthy. So let's talk about where they can find us. Keith. Yes, please. I was okay. just wondering that myself. Yeah. So, folks, you can go to our website. <laughs> it's uh, partskindaguru.com. And on that website, man, you can navigate to many things that we offer. First and foremost is what we just talked about, mentioned on the podcast. Anything we talk about in any of our videos and on our podcast, we put those on our mentioned on the podcast tab. Uh, you'll find that. It'll link you over to where you can buy it. It'll typically take you over to Amazon. Um, and speaking of Amazon, up in the upper right-hand corner, if you're just looking for other stuff like a can of peanuts or you know, or a um, uh, bottle of, uh, what is that, dehydrated water that can yeah. we, can of, we got in some these of that, time, yeah. in these days and times right now you can't go without a can of dehydrated water man. that's right I mean, you need to have that and we have a link for that up there now but, jay um, i have a question hmm. sure if i if i go to partscounterguru.com and i click on this uh this amazon like banner thing in the top yeah. right corner then mm-hmm. it costs me more for what i would if i would just go to amazon directly it costs me less right no what well how can that be because you are going to amazon directly but but if I go to our site, I mean I, your site, and then I mm-hmm. and then I go to Amazon, then but you can but then you know like if I buy something super freaky, like nope. you know it was me, right? Have we have no clue who who you are, what you're buying, or anything like that? What it does for us, though, folks, is very important. And Keith is getting to this. He loves he loves hanging me out there to to go go uh, uh, speak more on these things. But all of this helps us out. Um, Amazon gives us a little love for uh, for. Uh, uh, you guys clicking through our website to their website. Um, we don't see a thing. It's all it's all private, um, but we do get a little bit of love. And this costs us doing what we're doing, so every little bit helps us. Um, it's free to you, but uh, it's not to us. So oh, you can this is, you can you can say it. It's still a great you know. Yeah. Well, we'll 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 save that for the next uh, okay. area where they can. So what what can they do over on YouTube, Keith? If they go to ah, our YouTube channel, so and how do, I, see, and how do oh, they I see, get there? I see what you just and, did there. Oh, and how I see do, what you just did there. How do they there. get there? How do they get there? <laughs> the show has reached a new low. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh. you can find us on YouTube. I think I finally, Jay knows that I finally learned the actual, our, our YouTube page, because I was putting it on yeah. the wrong. Okay. It's yeah. youtube.com forward slash parts counter gurus with an That's S. Us. Yep. And you can watch all our videos while you're yep. there. Please hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you want. If you want to see something, if you didn't like the video you're watching, leave us a comment. Tell us what you want to see. Tell a friend. Those are all ways that you can help us out. They don't cost you anything, but it lets YouTube know that they can continue to let us make videos and put them out there and show them to people, basically. We are, we are trying to bit. hit a lot of, we need a lot of subscriptions. Um, we're, we're making a lot of headway. We've got a lot of fans out there. We really appreciate you guys. All you guys that are already subscribed, thank you so much. But if you're watching any of our videos, you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, please do that now. Um, it's free to you, but prizes to us. There it is. Um, that is, um, you know, YouTube, Google, they see those things and they, um, you know, th- in, in these times, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to make it as well, guys, and um, it helps us when you do that, and it helps us continue. And, you know, hey, right now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm watching a lot of YouTube, so we yeah. hope we're going to be in your mix. Why not let um, the people that uh, aren't starting on this today, you know, yeah. show you how it's done, right? So yeah, absolutely. Uh, Good stuff, man. So where else, Jay? Well, they can find us uh, on Facebook. Follow us on Facebook, and that would be facebook.com forward slash Parts Counter Gurus. You're pretty active um, on there. You you post yeah, stuff I'm all active. the time. Yeah, we we post stuff on there all the time. Uh, we are also uh, on Instagram. Uh, that would be Instagram.com forward slash the Parts Kind of Gurus. And now I'm going to let Keith give you the yeah, handle I'm here. Pretty, but but yeah, I, so I, I I love it, man. Where, where are we at now? Where are we at? Second tweet went out today. Second yeah, tweet, yeah. which yeah. was um uh, an isolation project um the chemical guys just dropped the price on their hol 121 oh. car wash kit car wash kit sorry car wash, wash? Kit. yeah wash. midwest yeah. uh which you reviewed and we have a video on our youtube channel about that great product it is a really yeah. good product yeah. um but i and tweeted be, because they put it on sale and it's a great yeah, awesome. stay at home go outside get a little physical activity maybe yeah. have an adult beverage those don't seem to be out of stock anywhere right now 
it's, go wash your car, man. And, right. and wash your hands a, while you're at it, right? Yeah. I mean, you stay clean, hydrated yeah. with beer. <laughs> um, you can listen to your favorite music. Uh, you can stay socially distant. Yeah, yeah, but you can talk to your neighbors. I, I do yeah, it all the time. Yeah, well, that's what I say. You can stay socially distant. Yeah. You can you can talk to your people around you, but they're far enough away to where you can just, you know, and get a tan. So, for the link to that and all kinds of other great stuff that's soon to follow, we are on Twitter. It's mm. at The Counter Show, just like it sounds, all one word, The, T-H-E, Counter Show. Yeah. That was Jay's idea. Uh, yeah. We struggled on that one for a good 15, 20 minutes, and then it, out it came but yeah we're the parts counter gurus on twitter at the counter show follow us there we appreciate it please and thank you yes and uh is, is that yeah. all of them did we get That's through it, them? man we're yeah we, we did we got through them thank you guys right. so much yes we really and i don't it, so. say thank you enough thank you to everyone that is that has subscribed that continues mm-hmm. to watch that tells a friend it means the world to us we really appreciate it yes and we do sort of we not sort of we do pay attention we see who subscribes we we think of you most of you uh well a good portion of you we know and and mm. or know of you and thank you i didn't realize i had so many friends man yeah, it's my wife's friends oh ours. is that what it is oh <laughs> darn it so man. while you maybe are dealing with those dude wipes and i don't know maybe you just do this when you're not on the throne but to <laughs> to to end on a lighter note okay um, and you know, just in case you don't go out to the grocery store or the department store as much as you used to, this is, this is a great reminder of the life you're missing. This is a real product. We're going to put a link to it in the mentioned on the podcast page. It's the people of Walmart adult coloring book. I've got to be careful, Jay, cause if I bring it up too high, there's a little butt yeah. crack in there that, yeah. um, you know, um, yeah. But this is a real deal. It's an adult coloring book. It is not a children's coloring book. It's not obscene, but it's just not like I just wouldn't yeah. like. You, it's you funny. Would have, you would have some splaining to do. Yeah, I it's think. Just sort yeah, of you know what I mean. You know. some, it's kind of so, weird, you know. So here, like, I'll just give you a couple of examples. Um, this is parenting as it is, at, at its best. This is what appears to be um, a woman staring at. Um, there's a smart parenting handbook on the shelf, parenting for beginners. I don't know, man. It's like the book aisle. And she's yeah, trying to find yeah. some parenting books while her kid is on a leash down here laying on the floor. <laughs> yeah. I mean, these are supposedly based on the actual people of Walmart, like photos that are photos that are out there. Yeah. I mean, we've all um, seen them. We've all seen the memes yeah, on now, Facebook. Now, and- now, here's a personal favorite of mine. This is the abuse of the motorized... Uh, yeah. Little rascal scooters that okay, yeah. so this 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 grown man is sitting on one of these <laughs> and and on his shirt you may not be able to see this but it says this is normal yeah. okay and then he's got like I don't know if that's supposed to be an adult woman on his lap uh, uh, I don't know and then we're weird and then man. this guy has a shirt on that says really dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, this is this is our conversations daily. This is yeah. very entertaining. Uh, not yeah. that expensive. Uh, some of these are just uh, some of them. I, I'm not real comfortable holding up. Uh, here's um, yeah, I'm not I'm not showing that one. Uh, yeah, and if you if, if you buy this, we <laughs> can buy oh, yeah, a color right. right. Well, color, what, what color, was the hashtag color the page we came, up, came up with? Do we remember? I forgot. Well, oh, I did too, man. Yeah. Well, send us, uh, please. So, yeah. Send, send it to us. us on I'll our, throw it on. The, I'll tell you what. I'll throw the hashtag on the screen right right here. You can. Yeah. Because w- w- I'll remember yeah, it, it by the time we edit this. Yeah. Send us your finished work. If, if you get this book, send us send us one of your paid, you know, not not like mail it to us, but like, you know, take a picture of it and send it to us. Right. That's that's what you were going to. Yeah. Well, sorry. Yeah. Ab- absolutely. Yes. Yeah. You got, I got excited. I, I jumped in there. I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. I can't help it, man. Oh, and here's. And here's an upside to this this book, you know. There's paper in there, guys. You know, we got a t, we got a we got a TP shortage. You know, if you're not satisfied with it, you know, and you ball it up and you throw it in the trash, you know, you try it again. Recycle is that what Recycle, you're saying? Recycle, guys. I'm just saying, you know, you 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 know, do do your take your masterpiece that almost was and help your masterpiece that is, <laughs> and and I'm just saying. And that, that that those are words of wisdom to live by right there. I yeah. mean, that's probably the best advice I've I've heard all week. 
Uh, you I'm know? glad you enjoyed that. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, everybody. Uh, I think that's probably been enough entertainment for us <laughs> oh, yeah. for one session. Thank you all link. for watching, following, all of that great stuff. We really appreciate it. It means the world to us. Thank you so much. Uh, until next time, which will be very soon in these times of isolation, that is my podcast partner, Jay, over there. I'm Keith. Uh, what was your What was your take your master? You, you can do it. Take your... When you finish Take, with your hand sanitizer. When you, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, hand sanitizer, just remember to wash, folks. That's okay. Wash your hands and keep your hands away from your face. Um, no, what I was saying was use what might have been your masterpiece instead of throwing it away and deal with your masterpiece. That is. I, I think that's, that's, that's just great advice. All right, everybody. Okay. Thanks. We'll see you next time. <laughs>